Hello viewers, welcome back to my channel on this beautiful Friday morning. So, as you can see behind me is my wind turbine, my neodymium energy generator. I designed it three years ago and I can say right now that it still does not show any signs of wear out. So basically, the color of the wings become pale and but still generator does not produce any noises and I hope it will do so for next several years. So I'm on safe side, I, I can say. But yet, this uh, turbine is not a topic of this video. Uh, the topic of the video is neodymium energy generator by Daniel Guimo. Yeah? So my generator needs continuous energy input to run, to run itself and then produce electrical energy as the output. So, but it only can do it while having the continuous energy input from the wind, which is basically kinetic energy. But Daniel Guillermo actually created a generator which does not need continuous or any energy input and gives infinite energy output. So this is image over here. It looks pretty simple, rather. But let's see, let's see the drawings and what was his idea and how he, uh, how he believes that this really can work. Hello viewers, welcome back. So let's have a look on this amazing neodymium energy generator. Yeah, it, it looks very simple, but it's not that simple in the end because there are some things which need to be exactly uh, yeah, uh, adjusted that this can work in theory at least, but it works on the paper of the patent from Daniel Guillemot. Yeah. And let's start from the beginning. Okay, in the middle there is a main uh, bearing, which is the main shaft with the four permanent magnets with a special shape. You can see they consist of two magnets. So one magnet is like a uh, square magnet and one is the triangular with uh, positioned in the opposite opposite side like the first one. Yeah? So they, they attract each other. So you will see why that's important later. Now we have uh, this set of bearings uh, or gears, sorry, this set of gears which transfer uh, the rotational the rotation to the smaller smaller bearings. So these bigger bearings have two uh, 20 tooth and this smaller one 10. So basically this one will turn twice while this turns once. Yeah? So that's the ratio 2 to 1. And now we are left with the last type of magnets, uh, last type of mechanism which is uh, here. Uh, so this magnet will go in out yeah? so toward the center uh, or toward this magnet yeah? so so you can see uh, when i move it here so when they will be close they will repel this magnet so that this main shaft can spin yeah so that's the that's the idea so when this comes closer to the center if we compare with this one yeah so you can see this one will repel red from red so like poles will repel each other so this should spin yeah and now is the question how it's uh, avoided the, the opposing magnetic field that this does not stop somewhere in between yeah uh, so that's the uh, for this purpose the, uh, we he used the specially shaped magnets yeah so now i can go uh, but yet let let me first describe it uh, more in detail this mechanism over here so you can see when this pins yeah so this depends it just needs to be positioned exactly uh, correct yeah so this will spin the smaller gear will spin and be, will move in and out this magnet yeah so so in this 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 axis yeah so it will go uh, in this way when this spins it yeah so that's the key and now yeah the only thing is why how how this will uh, why this will not stop? Yeah? Why this is so important? Uh, how it is designed that this does not stop? Yeah? Basically, from the first side, it will stop immediately because we have the the, the gear mechanism, yeah? and these gears would stop, and they would have much friction, and this would stop immediately. But yet, in the pattern, is described the other way around that this really can work. Yeah? And why it can work? It can work because of this magnet, yeah. So these these magnets are spe specially shaped. Yeah? So now I design it in my second. Uh, so I will shift now here, so you can see. Now this this is the magnet, and this is the magnetic field line it creates. Yeah, while um, yeah, when it's yeah when it's moving or not, this is his shape of the magnetic field line, and you can see that yeah from the one side it will be to the other side to the other pole and now these opposing mag magnets you see these smaller ones will create that this 
this is actually nullified yeah so this here so when we go back here so this should not create when it comes closer it should not create uh, let's say big uh, opposing resistance that this stops the system yeah? so that's the that's the key yeah that's that's why these smaller magnets should be glued on this bigger magnet uh, with the opposing side that it attracts to the uh, next magnet. Yeah? So it will create really small field, yeah, magnetic field, per description of the patent, yeah? and it will help that this can work. Yeah? So that's the that's the case. So it's very interesting. Yeah? So these magnetic field lines are always interesting to explore, and yet it's not easy to draw them. Yeah? So that's the case. In the end, I will now read uh, what is exactly written in the patent because my, des my description could be a little bit rusty sometime. So let's see what this, uh, yeah, what this inventor says. So, the neodymium energy generator is a free energy machine that uses magnets to continually provide rotational mechanical energy. Yeah? So this is accomplished by a mechanical rig that uses the energy of one magnet to place the another magnet in position to do work. Yeah? The second magnet in turn provides the energy for the next magnet to do work and so on down the line. The key characteristic of this design is the movement of one magnet into another magnetic field yeah, uh, through a path that is relatively perpendicular to the field line. So that's the key. Perpendicular comes the, this magnet from outside to inside. Yeah? So that's the, that's the, I think this helps. Yeah? By moving a magnet into external magnetic field through a path that is relatively perpendicular to the field line, potential energy is created while using a relatively small amount of energy in doing so. Using minimal energy to create the potential energy in this way also creates energy capable of overcoming the extinction of motion due to the friction while powering other mechanisms. So basically he says that uh, yeah, this, this, these magnets will come perpendicular uh, to the center and this helps that this rotation continues yeah and of course these specially magnets and these specially uh, designed it uh, yeah in this setup they will give the field which will not give the too much or too high the resistance of the opposing magnetic field yeah? so that's the key of this of this neodymium energy generator but Daniel Guima yeah? so that's that's it so so thank you for watching viewers, I hope you enjoyed this small presentation, it's really interesting, it's, it's not too hard to replicate this, but yet, uh, yeah, we, it's not the whole design, you see that it, this cannot be in the air, of course, these things are not in the air, they are on some special shafts, again, which will also create some friction and some resistance, so it's very questionable, can this really work in the end? But yet, it looks promising and it looks really interesting because it's the other way around that the other patents show us how to do it. So thank you for watching, until next video, stay tuned on my channel. Bye bye.